Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Pajama Joe here with another fragrance review. Today uh, I'm going to be reviewing a fragrance that I especially enjoy wearing. It's called John Barbados Artisan Pure and this is getting a lot of growing popularity. Uh, it came out 2017 and the perfumer's name is Rodrigo Flores Rue and uh, I'm going to get deeper in the details here in just a second, but this is the box that it comes in. It's a very nice ocean, ocean themed, uh, like sandy type woody texture on the box here. This is the, let me see here, 4.2 fluid ounce. Or 125 milliliters, and it comes from, I think maybe France. Oh, it's made in the United States. As far as what it says on the box here, this is the bottle. It's got a very nice white webbing texture on it. The very nice wooden cap that fits very well. It says John Barbados on the cap there. Very nice bottle. I think um, all of the John Barbados fragrances have shared the same bottle shape but the style is different as to the basically themed vibe that you get when you wear the fragrances like some of them are uh, black with like a leather like a leather texture and it's it's not I would say maybe those maybe not be made for summertime I guess spring or summertime I'm not sure about that but um, I can tell that this is kinda like bohemian style type I guess you would say bottle like it, it looks like it's fit for hot weathers the style of this bottle I have smelled the original artisan but that was that was a long time ago and I can't really remember what it smells like but this one it is a citrus fragrance <laughs> yeah, I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people probably have already guessed that but uh, there's something there's something something extra special about this one that that sort of stands out from maybe some other citrus fragrances that it's got like a sort of depth and darkness to it um, that's that's what I think when I when I wear this it's got a very nice depth to it there's a text on uh, one of the websites that one of the fragrance viewing websites that says this is inspired by the verdant and lush hills of Exalpa, Mexico and its vast coffee and citrus groves. It contains luxurious citrus notes that bring an understated elegance to modern sun warmed woods. And it contains elements of leaves, branches, and tender fruits of citrus trees, and the best quality of forests. Let me read you the notes real quick. The top notes are Spanish lemon, Valencia orange, Cal Calabrian bergamot, petite grain. The heart contains orange flower, coffee tree flower, jasmine Italian orris, absolute Italian orris, resinoid, coriander seed, and cardamom. The base notes consist of orris, Texan cedarwood, Virginia, Virginian cedarwood, Mexican primavera wood, angelica root, ambret seed, and tonka bean. The parent company is Revlon Inc. and the co-parent company is Elizabeth Arden. What I get when I wear this is a 
on the top the citrus comes out bright fresh clean definitely without a doubt on the top of this when it morphs from the top to the heart it sort of brings forth a darkness and depth but I think maybe they used um, a coffee note to bring up that depth or darkness but I do not detect a coffee a coffee scent from this it's it's pretty peculiar why these guys would uh, want to mix citrus and coffee I think that that's a very peculiar two very peculiar spectrums to bring into one fragrance but this does that very well I would have never expected coffee and citrus to form into something this good I think this is a very nice fragrance uh, I re recommend this to anybody probably maybe in their late 20s or anywhere between their early 30s or maybe mid 30s might be able to pull this off but it's it's a mature enough scent so that anybody uh, older than that can definitely pull it off but this has sort of got a crisp fun youthness to this to this concentration I think that th this was made for somebody that that was um, energetic outgoing and it's it's definitely got the uh, a, a powerful youthness at least that's the vibe I get from this um, now what I would probably say is that you might be getting maybe five hours of projection of about maybe a foot to a foot and a half uh, away from your body upon maybe four sprays this one the more you spray it <laughs> it seems as though you, you, you could probably get away with spraying this maybe a couple more times than, than you would start to detect this upon the first the first spray what I mean is is that you can detect yourself wearing this after the second spray but um, as far as what I would say about if the lasting power of this you might want to go a couple more sprays <laughs> then <laughs> the, then when you spray this and detect you smelling it I guess the lasting power of this is is like mid in the middle the like maybe moderate because um, the it, it starts to dwindle down like maybe after the the sixth hour and you, you can either like reapply after the sixth hour or you can just spray a bunch of times on the first one and it, it will get it will get you about six hours but um, it's not something that cloys or uh, offends your sense of smell so so easily um, like after it makes that transition from the top to heart note then the performance that's when the performance starts to uh, start the time the time clock on this uh, I would say maybe you you might be able to get four hours uh, from four sprays um, after it makes that transition from top to heart so I wouldn't say be careful when you spray this because it's kind of hard to overdo it with this one but I would say that maybe you might want to spray it a little bit more than you feel comfortable after the first spray when you start smelling it on yourself I guess that's that's the best way to s describe how this one performs and how you might want to wear this one it doesn't have a uh, performance issue but it's kind of the hinges is a little bit squeaky when 
when you when you wear this, I guess. Because it's 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 so enjoyable to wear that it's kind of it's kind of hard not to want to go hog wild on app applying this one because of how good it smells. But I would I would say just. Just do what you gotta do. <laughs> do what you gotta do to get that lasting power. <laughs> now, the the difficult thing that happens when this makes the transition from heart to base is that you really want that heart note to stick around longer than it does. Like when when it starts to become a skin scent then you kind of like want that heart note to come out again and which is a bit of a uh, just a little bit of a drag when <laughs> when it makes that transition from heart to base because the scent doesn't shift it doesn't change when it goes from heart notes to base notes but you just really want that that aura around your body longer than it really does come out. Well, that is going to be my review of John Barbados Artisan Pure. I wish I could do uh, a little bit longer of a video about this one, but uh, there's some there's some things that, uh, that I need to tend to today so that's that's all the time I'm going to be talking about fragrances today for right now have a nice day everybody thank you for watching my video